Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to apply the Saber effect to any logo or image in After Effects. It's a simple to do, so let's jump right in. Let's start by dragging and dropping any image onto the timeline. I'll be using the Threads logo for this example. First let's scale it down slightly so it fits nicely in the frame and is easier to see. Next pre-compose the image layer. Rename it if needed and make sure both move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected, then click OK. Now let's solo the pre-comp layer. Since we're going to apply a mask to it, you can either manually Manually create a mask, which can take some time to get right, or use a faster method by going to the layer menu and selecting auto trace. Make sure current frame is selected, since we're creating a mask on a still image. If you were working with a video and wanted the mask to follow the motion, you'd select work area instead to generate masks across the entire range. But in this case, because it's a still image I'll leave it on current frame and click OK. As you can see, the masks are now created around the Threads logo and we're ready to apply the Saber plugin. Start by expanding the render settings and set the composite settings to add. Then expand the customize core section and change the core type to layer masks, this will apply the Saber effect directly onto the mask outlines. Now let's toggle off the mask visibility so we can see the Saber effect more clearly. From here you can change the preset to any style you like, then adjust the core and glow settings until it looks just right. Don't forget to change the color to match your design. Personally I like to reduce the built-in glow intensity slightly and then add the deep glow plugin for a more enhanced and polished glow effect, it makes a big difference. Once you're done adjusting the Saber settings, go ahead and unsolo the layer to see the final result. For even better results, you can 3D track the effect into your video to make it follow the scene naturally. To do that, select your main footage, then click on track camera and wait for the analysis to finish. Once it's done, right click on a tracked point and choose create solid and camera. Now drag the logo layer above the track solid and enable the 3D on the logo layer. To make sure it's perfectly tracked, select the track solid layer, Press P to reveal its position, then copy the position values and paste them onto the logo layer. From here you can adjust the logo's position to your liking. Once everything looks good, you can turn off the visibility of the track solid layer and that's it, you're done. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.